Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to read a chapter in New Oxford Modern English. It is Unit 3. The name of the chapter is My Early Home. It is on page number 26, 27 and 28. Students, before reading the chapter, let us look at the meanings of the difficult words. The first word is box. Box means to hit. The next word is brook. A brook is a small stream. The next word is called. A called is a young male horse. The next word is gallop. Gallop means fast movement of horse with all feet leaving off the ground like you can see the picture. The feet of horse is off the ground. The next word is gig. A gig is a light two-wheeled carriage. The next word is lodging. Lodging means living space. The next word is meadow. A meadow is a grass-covered field. The next word is plow. Plow means to dig up an area to make it ready for planting. The next word is rushes. Rushes are plants. The next word is well-bred. Well-bred means having or showing good manners, being of good quality. The next word is winnet. Winnet is the past tense of the word whinny. It is a noise horses make. Then it is pleasant. Pleasant means nice. Then we have grove of fir trees. The word grove means group and grove of fir trees means a group of fir trees that are planted together as you can see in the picture. The next word is leaned. That means to incline or to bend. The next word is steep. Steep means rise or fall. That goes very quickly from low to high or from high to low. The next word is bank. The bank is the land alongside a body of water. The next word is temper. Temper is a state of mind seen in terms of being angry or calm. Trot. Trot means horse using short steps in which a front leg and the back leg move on the opposite side or move together as you can see in the picture. The next word is hedge. A hedge is a boundary formed by closely growing bushes or shrubs. Knee. Knee is a long loud noise made by horses in excitement or fear which means that it is a noise that horse make when they are happy or they are afraid. The last word is shed. A shed is a simple roof structure used for garden storage or to provide shelter to animals. Ok students, now let us see the characters in the chapter. He is Blackie. Blackie is a cult. He is well bred. It means that he has learned manners. He is telling the story. She is Duchess. Duchess is Blackie's mother. She is a very wise horse. He is master. He is a very nice man. He is Dick, the plow boy. He is very naughty. And then we have old Daniel. Old Daniel is a very nice man and he is very gentle. He looks after the horses. Okay, students, now I am going to read. I am going to read the first paragraph on page number 26. The first place that I can well remember was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge on one side we looked into a ploughed field and on the other we looked over a gate at our master's house. 
which stood by the roadside. At the top of the meadow was a grove of fir trees and at the bottom a running brook overhung by a steep bank. Okay students, now I will explain this to you. Students, Blackie says that there was a nice meadow, a pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water means the water of the pond was very clear. It was clean. There were some shady trees that leaned over it. Leans means that bent over it. There were rushes. Rushes are what? Rushes are flowers. And there were some water lilies. And water lilies, you know, water lilies are a type of flowers. They are flowers. And then he says, over the hedge on the one side, there was a ploughed field. What is a ploughed field? A ploughed field is a field that is ready for planting. He says that his master's house was near the roadside. And he says there was a grove of fir trees at the top of the meadow. As you can see, the trees are all close together. So they are in a form of grove. And these trees are fir trees, so they are at the top of the meadow. Okay, and then we have a running brook with a steep bank at the bottom. And at the bottom of the meadow was a running brook. A brook is a small stream with a steep bank when the water flows from high to low or low to high. And we already studied what is a bank. Bank is the land alongside the alongside the water body and here the water body is a brook okay students now we are going to read the next paragraph while i was young i lived upon my mother's milk as i could not eat grass in the daytime i ran by her side and at night i lay down close by her when it was hot, we used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees, and when it was cold, we had a nice warm shed near the grove. As soon as I was old enough to eat grass, my mother used to go out to work in the daytime and come back in the evening. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, Blackie says that when he was young, when he was small, he used to be on his mother's milk and when it was daytime, he used to run by her side and when it was night, he used to lay down close by her. Okay students, now he's telling when it was hot, they used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees. This shade of the trees provided them shelter against the hot weather. And then he says, when it was cold, they had a warm shed near the grove. And near the grove was a shed. And as we discussed, the meaning of shed, shed is a shelter for animals. And shed provided shelter for them during the cold weather. Okay, students. Now I'll read the next paragraph. Student. This paragraph is on page number 26, two lines on page number 26 and the next few lines on page number 27. There were six young calls in the meadow besides me. They were older than I was. Some were nearly as large as grown-up horses. I used to run with them and had great fun. We used to gallop all together round and round the field as hard as we could go. Sometimes we had rather rough play, for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, Blackie says that there were six other calls other than him in the meadow. They were older than him, and some of them were nearly grown-up horses. They ran, played, and galloped together. As I told you, gallop means when a horse lifts its all feet up above the ground. It lifts its feet off the ground. So they were galloping, running and playing. And then they were frequently biting each other, kicking and galloping. 
Now I'm going to read the next paragraph. One day, when there was a good deal of kicking, my mother went it to me to come choose her, and then she said, I wish you to pay attention to what I'm saying to you. The calls who live here are very good calls, but they are cart horse calls, and of course, they have not learned manners. You have been well bred and well born. Your father has a great name in these parts, and your grandfather won the cup two years at the new market races. Your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse I ever knew, and I think you've never seen me kick or bite. Oh, I hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways. Do your work with good will. Lift your feet up well when you trot and never bite or kick even in play. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, one day Blackie and the other calls were kicking and biting. The mother got very angry and said to him that all the calls were very good, but they have not learned manners as they were cart horse calls. She told them that he was well bred, means he learned manners. His father had a great name. Now she is telling about his family. His grandfather won the two cup for two years at the new market races, and his grandmother had a sweetest temper. What is temper? The state of mind that she had a very calm mind. She had a very pleasant mind. She never got angry. Or okay, and then she advised him not to learn the bad ways. Don't learn bad manners. And she said to him, when you trot, what is trotting? When it is the movement of horse. When the horse. Its front feet or the hind feet are moving together in the same direction or in the opposite direction. And she said to him, when you trot, lift your feet well up and never kick or bite anyone even when you play. Do you think her mo his mother said it right? Yes, she was very right because we should always learn manners. Now I'll read the next paragraph. I've never forgotten my mother's advice. I knew she was a wise old horse. and Our master thought a great deal of her. Her name was Duchess, but he often called her Pet. Students, Blackie says that after that day, he never forgot his mother's advice, as he thinks she was a very wise horse. Their master liked Blackie and his mom a lot. Her mother's name was Duchess, but master called her Pet. That was her nickname. Now we'll read the next paragraph. Our master was a good, kind man. Students, this paragraph, a few lines are on page number 27, and the rest of the lines are on page number 28. Our master was a good, kind man. He gave us food, good lodging, and kind words. He spoke as kindly to us as he did to his little children. We were all fond of him, and my mother loved him very much. When she saw him at the gate, she would knee with joy and trot up to him. He would pat and stroke and say, Well, old pet, and how is your little darky? I was a dull black. So he called me Turkey. Then he would give me a piece of bread, which was very good. And sometimes he brought a carrot for my mother. All the horses would come to him, but I think we were his favorites. My mother always took him to the town on a market day in a light cake. Students, now I'll explain this to you. The master was a nice man, and Blackie and his mom were his favorites. He used to call Darkie because Darkie had a dull black color and when he would come, he would bring a piece of bread for Blackie and carrot for his mother and he took the, and she took Master to the market on light gig. What is a light gig? Light gig is a light carriage. 
Now I'll read the next paragraph. This paragraph is on page number 28, the second paragraph. There was a plowboy Dick who sometimes came into our field to pluck blackberries from the hedge. When he had eaten all he wanted, he would have fun what he, what he called fun with the calls, throwing stones and sticks at them to make them gallop. We did not much mind him for we could gallop off, but sometimes the stone would hit and hurt us. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, there was the boy. He was a plowboy and he, his name was Dick. He used to come to pluck blackberries and after eating blackberries, he used to throw stones and sticks at the horses to make them gallop so that horses would jump and lift their feet up above the ground. So that was a fun for him. They did not mind, mind much as they could gallop. They could gallop and sometimes the stone would hit them because they could not gallop. Now I'm going to read the next paragraph. One day he was at this game and he did not know that the master was in the next field. But he was there watching what was going on. Over the hedge he jumped in a snap and catching Dick by the arm. He gave him a box on the ear, as made him roar with pain and surprise. As soon as he saw the master, we trotted up nearer to see what went on. Bad boy, he said, bad boy, to chase the cause. This is not the first time, not the second, but it shall be the last. There, take your money and go home. I shall, I shall not want you on my farm again. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, Master saw Dick throw, throwing stones at the calls and he caught him by the arm. He hit him on his ear and he told him that this was his last time and he asked him to take the money and never ever come back again. Obviously, Master did not like Dick throwing stones at the calls. That is a very bad thing to do. Students, now I'll read the last few lines. So we never saw Dick anymore. Old Daniel, the man who looked after the horses, was just as gentle as our master, so we were well off. Now I'll explain this to you. Students, Blackie says, after that day, they never saw Dick again. The man who looked after the horses, his name was Daniel. He was as nice as their master. Students, I hope you enjoyed reading the chapter and understood the chapter very well. Thank you.